Hey guys, it is Wingy here and welcome to a brand new video. Now today is 23rd of November, which is the anniversary of Doctor Who first being broadcast way back in 1963. And at the minute, I kind of feel ashamed to be a Doctor Who fan because of the way that the fandom is going. So what I thought I would do is do a little parody video, a little bit of a comedy video, a little bit of a skit, summing up how the internet would translate you if you have any sort of criticism about the 13th Doctor or Chris Chibnall or just anything to do with Doctor Who series 11. I must stress, this is just a joke, it's just a parody, I don't mean any of the things that I'm going to say, it's literally just how the internet would translate fair criticism. You know, I haven't really seen Jodie Whittaker in anything, so I don't know if she's actually going to be a good actress. I hate women. I mean, for me personally, I love Missy, but I didn't really think that she was the master, so I'm worried that if we gender swap the doctor, the same thing is going to happen. I mean, they've got the foe, what more do they want? Eh, I'm not really too sure about what I think about this new Doctor's costume. I mean, it looks alright, but I think I'm gonna have to see it in action first. I really want a sandwich, but I don't have a girlfriend to make me one. Why the fuck am I here? I mean, Chris Chibnall hasn't really done anything that good for Doctor Who. Sure, he had some good stories for Torchwood, but I'm really worried that he isn't gonna write this in the proper way. This guy. <laughs> what a legend. Given how Doctor Who has been written recently, I am genuinely worried that they're just going to focus on the fact that the Doctor's a woman now and not on great storytelling. Oh, but women on TV, I'm so intimidated. This is the biggest change in the show's entire history and because I haven't seen anything yet, I don't know if I'm going to like it. I mean, a woman in the TARDIS, that is just ridiculous. Why isn't she in the kitchen? So that's just a few random examples guys, I know a lot of the stuff is just absurd and I obviously don't mean all that sexist shit. But the thing is, if you say anything now, whether it's fair or unfair criticism about the 13th Doctor, you are immediately labelled as a sexist or misogynist. I think that's really unfair because a lot of people have genuine concerns about the future of the show. They're only worried because they care, we don't know how this is going to go, so all those people out there who are saying, oh no it's going to be fine, it's going to be amazing, she's amazing, how do you know? You haven't seen anything yet. So it's alright saying, oh, it's not aired yet, you don't know that it's going to be terrible. You haven't seen anything either, so you don't know it's going to be amazing. Hopefully it is. I know I was someone who said that I didn't necessarily like the gender swap, and I definitely stand by that. But by the time the show actually runs around and will actually air, my opinion might change completely. I'm going into this with an open mind. It's not necessarily something that I wanted before, but hey, it might prove me wrong. I hope it does. And I hate that a lot of people now seem to think that just because they like the 13th Doctor, they can put other people down like they're somehow better than them. This is not what it is to be a Doctor Who fan. We're a community. We should all stand together with our love of Doctor Who. I am absolutely ashamed to call myself a Whovian now because of all this toxicity. People just attacking each other on either sides. And let's be honest here, no one is right. Like I said before, we don't know how this is going to go. It could be great. It could be shit. No one knows. So instead of attacking each other, maybe those people who have concerns like I do, maybe encourage them to watch the show. Although, hang on, we can't say that because people Peter Davison did and he was driven off Twitter because of it. And I'm not just sticking up for all the people who have actually genuinely been sexist because I had comments on my video that they said, I agree with you Wingy and then said something that I completely disagree with and it was completely and utterly disgusting. And I'm not even going to repeat what it is because it doesn't need to be said but let me tell you it was something that was absolutely fucking vile and I do not condone that. So regardless of where you stand on the spectrum of the 13th Doctor, we're all going to be there watching anyway so what's the big deal? If you're someone who's going to give up on the show now, then that's up to you. I mean, for me personally, I would at least go in with an open mind and watch the first few episodes and then decide whether or not you're going to quit. Who knows, you might be missing out on some of the best Doctor Who ever, but I doubt it because, I mean, that was with Tom Baker in the 70s. But as well, you know, I've not spoken about her costume or her companions that have been announced because I didn't want all this stupid, vile hatred coming towards my way saying that I was a sexist. It's also the reason why I took down my 13th Doctor reaction. So, at this very moment in time, am I happy with any of it. Not really. But then again, when Peter Capaldi was announced as the Doctor, I wasn't that keen either. When they first revealed his costume, I absolutely hated it, but look what I went as for Halloween this year. Opinions change, so just because somebody feels a certain way now, doesn't mean they will in the future. So anyone out there, please give them the benefit of the doubt that they're not just some sexist, misogynist pig, because put it this way, Doctor Who's the wrong show to watch if you're a sexist. From day one, we have had strong female characters, and they are universally praised as some of the best in television history. I mean, I'm sure there are some people out there who are genuine sexists who don't want to see women on TV, but I'm pretty sure they're not the ones watching Doctor Who, because all the companions have been pretty 
much love. Characters like Sarah Jane, who even got her own show that was still loved. I loved it as a kid. So just because we don't like the biggest change in the show's history thus far, without seeing anything, doesn't mean we're misogynist. It's okay to be critical of Doctor Who and have some concerns, but at the same time, it's also not okay to just be flat out sexist and dismiss this Doctor just because she's female. I may not like it, I'm gonna give her a chance though. And I hope I'm proved wrong. I hope she does well. I hope Chibnall writes it properly. After all this toxicity that I've been seeing lately, I just have to say one more thing. If you're a Whovian out there and you have been attacking other people or Peter Davison and whoever about their opinion, whether it's whether they love it or whether they hate it, there's one person who would be ashamed of you and that's the Doctor.